What were you thinking? With, With Aaron and Scott. Real talk behind closed doors. It's not just about stupidity, but everything else that comes with it. High octane, energy driven, in your face. Get ready. It's Aaron and Scott. Oh, we welcome you to What Were You Thinking with Moi, Aaron, and uh, my rock star co host, Moi. <laughs> Scott. Moi and Moi. Moi and Moi. <laughs> I'm in a very mellow mood today, buddy. Mellow? It's yep. been a, you know, it's been a weird... On my levels, you got to keep my levels up because I'm in such a mellow mood. Yeah. You're not going to catch me. Could your you voice don't. be any deeper? Yeah. I have a third <laughs> ball. <laughs> it's been a weird week for me, Yeah, I got to say. I'm ready for tomorrow to be Friday, but it's just been... Uh, well, you know, because I told you, you know, I was, you know, I'm a trainer, so I was uh, training at Gold's Gym. You know, I was there for six years. And, uh, you know, I paid them rent each month, you know, to kind of use their facility, trained my clients, brought them business, paid them over $10,000 a year. And so, you know, I finally, it was time to make a change. So I went over to another facility, you know, Mansion Fitness in West Hollywood. And, uh, and so I figured, you know, maybe have another side, you know, membership for golds on the side. If I just want to go to another gym and just work out, you know. Yeah. And uh, so I figured, they, I figured they would hook me up. Give me a good deal. You know. How, how'd that work out for you? Uh, yeah, forty nine ninety nine, fifty dollars a month. That's terrible. there was nothing they were going to do, nothing. No, because they, you used to train people. Because I I used to train people, so they think you're going to come they, in. They think I'm going to steal their clients while they're not looking. You're going to run looking. up and you're going to say, "Hey, you're doing your curls." <laughs> and wrong, then I'm going to bring everybody over. You know, hey, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I got a slot at three open for you. That's right. Come over to Mansion Fitness and I'll train you. Yeah, but right. uh, there was nothing they could do. Here's the funny part. Yeah, even paying fifty dollars a month to be a member at Gold's. You could still do that. I could. What difference does it make if you're paying twenty you know, a month the, or fifty? It, a here's month? the thing: it's taking the, clients no, no, or no. taking clients. I know, but it's. The whole I'm not thing. saying you would, right? But people do. I'm talking about principle. You know, right. it's the principle behind. You know what? I'm I'm, I'm good for you, and uh, I'm helping you out, and uh, yeah, this is the thanks I get. No, I know it's terrible. So, well, but you know, what? I, I think that's what happens with corporate. You know, they just they really. They love you, to let, you know when they get. Yeah, your they money. love you when after, you're doing them good. Well, after after you give them the, your money, then they they don't know your name anymore. No. So no. who are you? Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Who? Bye bye. See, that's why I like the mom and pop type stuff. They mom know how to pop. treat people. That's a day. That's that's that doesn't exist anymore. Everything's corporate. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Their dicks get <laughs> so big they don't know how to work them anymore. For heaven's sake, it's toilet talk with Aaron and Scott. <laughs> <laughs> that was my piff. Oh, piff again. Literally, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm over the gardeners. They can do what they want. They can blow dirt onto other people's property and into cars, and I could give two shits less. Yeah. Since it's toilet talk. <laughs> I'm also over the bicyclists that want to continue sharing the roads with automobiles that could crush them I and mutilate them. I'm so glad I'm that over. you have finally forgiven all of those idiots yeah. on, the, on the bicycles. I'm good. Because we talked about this for weeks about how much it bugged you. Yeah, all those and, green uh, people. But you let it's it go. Good. It's good. But you know what's bugged me today when I was driving around? I'm seeing these cars now driving around with this huge pink fuzzy mustache. What the hell on is the, that? I on saw the one of those today, of the, too. The, there was that Mercedes. What is that? They're stupid. It's, but what is it? it? It's, it's a it's, taxi cab service. That's it. Wait, what is it, Jamal? It's a taxi cab service. Is this no, no, just no, no. in L.A.? No, these are re these are regular people. Yeah, no, that's a cab service. It is a cab. It's a service. cab service. Okay, this is just in L.A. It's I just saw just one today I'm, going I'm down Fountain them every day. So for people who are listening who don't understand, what, why would a, a car have a big fuzzy pink mustache on its grill? We're talking about two and a half no, feet. We're, we're right? talking the size of the front of the grill on this. I saw one that was just about <laughs> two and a half feet wide. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. But I don't know. I think that's just in L.A. I think I haven't seen anywhere else. Well, I haven't I've been anywhere seen... else to see well, it true. really. I, but I'm I was trapped. in the Bay Area. I didn't see them there. It sounds really stupid. Now they're going to start doing uh, goatees next. I well, the cars know. are doing the balls on the back, you know, because people buy those steel balls. Have you those seen those? Those are trucks. Well, Usually on trucks. I've seen them on cars too. <laughs> cars that have balls now? <laughs> Tell me you haven't seen a Prius with a set of big nuts on no, it. No, but I saw a Prius. Can you imagine? I saw a Prius with the mustache. A Prius would be more along the lines of a dog that was fixed. 
like a little empty yeah. sack. Uh-huh. That would be a Prius, that's you true, know? That's, that's your Prius. Maybe a half a ball. Maybe just. I'm not giving those things even a ball or a half a ball. No balls. The size They're of the done. grape. They're fixed. Yeah. They don't go around creating problems. They just kind of mosey along at 500 miles per gallon or whatever it is, <laughs> right? Ballless and ready for the road. Yeah. Great. Um, do these cabs have a thing that says taxi on it there's or? nothing on it i didn't mm-hmm. even know it was a cab. what is it we're just supposed to know it's a cab by the uh, mustache well what i saw online is basically it's like there's an app for it and it's like people use the app and it's kind of like a carpooling service so they pick you up and you they take you where you need to go and you pay like a certain amount of money but it's not like a fee like a cab Oh, mm. cheaper than a cab. It's probably. cheaper than a cab. Of course. Now we're going to lowball the cabs. <laughs> lowball the cabs. I don't know. Lowball the cabs with no balls and a Prius <laughs> that'll pick you up with a mustache and no balls. <laughs> Whose ball is today? But it has a mustache. <laughs> Why, it's us. What's next? Let us drive you <laughs> wherever you want. <laughs> we should do our own service, Scott. Yeah, we should. What would our, what would our service be? Four balls and a mustache <laughs> and a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy? That's exactly what I big can old that. big old wig over the top of the car. Just throw a big hairpiece. Just say, call Bosley and say, "Hey, we need something for the size of like a Prius," and they'll yeah. put something together for us. Uh-huh. And, you know, a hairpiece and, and just yeah, it's stupid. It's really stupid. Ah, uh, so um, I, what's going on? Oh, what's uh, the latest in the news? What's the latest in the news? Did I hear something interesting? Well, I have to tell week? you that this is funny. You do uh, you you keep in contact with your mom? In fact, I met your mom. Yes, sweet gal. Yes, she's a sweetheart. She's awesome. How, I mean, you talk to her, what several times a week? Yeah. Okay. I do. I do the same. You know, it's interesting. You, wait, you talk to my mom too? I talk several, to your mom several times a of week. Of course, she's my mom too. <laughs> I didn't know that. She big, didn't. Know, she never big, mentioned that. Shady. <laughs> she didn't know my mom. So no, I, I. So I called my mom the other day. I checked up on her like a good son does, and yeah. uh, at my mom's, she's a nosy woman. I love her to death, but she's nosy. I think most parents are nosy. They have to kind of know what's going on. I yeah, think. they like. Yeah. They like to know what's going on. Moms more than dads. So I'm talking to my mom, and my sister, who is 42 years old, mm-hmm. still lives at home. She doesn't have a life. Um, she doesn't. Gee, I hope she's not tuning <laughs> she, in. It could be kind of <laughs> shitty. No, no, I'm serious. I mean, th- she's only had two jobs in her life. She, she's, she's in what? She worked at a 99 cent store. <laughs> <laughs> she and she worked at a. a, a she was a blackjack dealer, and, uh, and that was it. You know what she's doing right <laughs> now? She's in his old bedroom in the house, throwing his old trophies out the window and spray painting Setting his walls. Fire. And yeah. so at forty, so she's living with my mom and dad. Yeah. So my parents are still raising kids. Right. <laughs> right. At sixty six. Right. So mom, hey, you know when are you going to retire? But uh, <laughs> apparently at forty two, my sister still needs to be watched over. But anyway, so. My mom was going through the bedroom, which uh, she's staying in, in the house, and she found this mug, this coffee mug. Right. With this substance in it. A substance. It, and it reeked. <laughs> it just foul. Was it a, a moist substance? I don't know, but my mom, it... my, well, my mom thought it was drugs. Right. Okay. And she shows my dad. She's like, oh, I think... I think uh, our daughter's doing drugs. Our little girl's our, grown up. A, our little girl is grown <laughs> our little, our little up. I think girl. she's experimenting with a little bit of uh, something, something here. Right. So what does my dad do? He goes down to the police station and say, and, and, guys, smell this. Oh, my God. What, do you, what is this? So the police are smelling this coffee mug. Right. With this substance that they cannot figure out <laughs> for the life of what's in this thing. What was it? Well... My my dad, so he he still he still hooked that it's narcotics drugs. She's they don't generally I, stink. First of all, I don't know, but she found it in the in her bathroom underneath the sink. So what was well, it? Well, well, this what happened. She was talking to my my sister's daughter, my niece, and uh, she said, you know, I think your mom's doing drugs. Does the daughter live there too? No, she li- she's she's married and she lives off somewhere else. Wait, your sister lives at home and has a daughter who's married. Well, she has two somewhere? daughters. She has a daughter who's like twelve. Who lives she went my- off and created a few people and she then did. came back. No, my sister has two kids. Right, one daughter lives with her with my mom and dad. Okay, and the other, the older one, got married and lives away. Gotcha. So my mom called her and said, "Hey, I have a concern about your mom. Right, there's this coffee mug, and and my my niece said, uh, does this coffee mug have this on it?'" And my mom said, "Yeah." She's like, "No, it's not drugs. It's a uh, a cleansing formula 
that it's got herbs and whatnot. My sister right. made this thing up. They just cleaned your bowels out. But she forgot about it, and she stuck it underneath their sink. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm confused. <laughs> it smells fine. What did she do? Was it the stuff she, that cleanses you, or she shit in the cup? What no, are you saying? She put a, like, it was like herbs in a bunch of variety, uh, like like a treatment, like a, something to like, help cleanse you. She just never, she forgot to take it. She stuck it underneath the, her bathroom <clears throat> sink, right? Right. And left it there. That's terrible. And as nature does, right, fowls and bacteria grow. So yeah. when my mom smelled my dad, my dad's bringing in rotten herbs into a PlayStation. <laughs> it's right. A, and thinks it's drugs. I don't know. Oh, my God. Now, what if it was drugs? They're going to finally get your sister out? They Is finally get her out. You know what, hon? <laughs> We've loved having you, but... Uh, Wouldn't you think you're going if you under. found this, you would be like, um, hey... What is this? I would have just asked her. Right? I don't go to the police. You go to the police? Is it a small town? Like, <laughs> no. you know, Opie and all that well, stuff? I mean, it's, Remember Opie it's and outside Aunt Seattle. And all? It's, not, it's not a small hick town. I figure but, it was uh, Don Knotts down there at you the would station. Think. Dur, dur, dur. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's... Ah. <laughs> So you know when I'm going to go home, my mom's just going to search through my suitcase. And I'm sure. I'm just going to make sure whatever I, if I do anything, nothing smells. Where are you going to stay when you go home? Not that room that was yours. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> That's being doused with gasoline at this point. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Your sister's had it with you, buddy. Anyway, sis, if you're listening. He loves you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened this week, and I'm trying to remember what it was. It was in the news. Yeah. Should have written it down. <laughs> Jeez. I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. It didn't have anything to do with the gay Boy Scouts thing. Well, did you hear about... Kinda... Now, uh, last year on America's Got Talent, I watched that show with Howard Stern and, you know, uh, Sharon Osbourne was on it last year. It's somebody new this year. But uh, anyway, last year, that Sebastian kid... Um, that uh, Mexican singer, right? He was, Sebastian. He's like he's like 11 years old. He was a, a contestant on America's Got Talent last year. All right. Amazing singer. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so he sang the other night uh, the national anthem at the uh, NBA Finals in uh, San Antonio. Right. right. And he got booed. I mean... Why did they boo him? Well, because they were... It, it was like racial comments that they're making from this kid. San Antonio, Twitter. there's a lot of Latin know, down there. A lot of Latino. It's, yeah. it's way down there I by know. the border, right? Yes, but yes. after he sang it, he got a lot of backlash on Twitter, Facebook. Everyone was talking smack about this 11-year-old kid. Who's got a good voice. Who's got an amazing voice. Well, then why are Sings the national shitty? anthem. Because people are jealous. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't and you know what they think? That should be me up there. Hey, Marla, yeah, that should be you. Not this kid over here. Who's this punk little 11-year-old kid? You know, it's sad. Mm. You know, people, ah, irks me. So what happens to his little career? Oh, now? he's doing great. Well, then he just shrugs, he, uh, he just why, shrugs why it Why would he even go to San Antonio anyway? Who the hell goes there and sings? They don't appreciate it. It doesn't matter where you sing. It's just the fact that. I don't think they would have booed him in L.A. If he's that good. He's got a TV show he was on. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's in L.A. I, I think it's what the NBA represents. I think it's the people that draw and watch that kind of sport. And it's they're not thinking, like he went to NASCAR. I, I know. You know. What, what if he did? Mm -hmm. I still. Well, he probably would have been booed. They're a little more. You know, what's the word? You got beer drinkers and redneck, you know, hardcore. Redneck, hardcore. Hardcore. Yeah. They don't want some Latin kids singing <laughs> to their crowd. I don't give a shit how big and good he is. Whatever. It's uh, now. You know what? He needs to come to LA and. and go on one of those shows again where they appreciate he, him yes stay away from the basketball so stay away from the hockey and god stay away from the car stuff <laughs> well I'm, I'm rooting for i mean he's a great singer i had i was just uh, i believe you yeah i'm sure he is yeah poor kid poor so what kid. happened to him was he in tears and he left the stage no did they escort no, him he, off no he sang it perfectly didn't they mess throw up. things at no. him no no it was just it was just after it was after the effect it was after he sang does he sing better know. than justin bieber or biber or whatever that yeah was? he does he does yeah. they never boo him off wonder well, what would happen to justin bieber if he went down there is it bieber or biber <laughs> bieber uh, bieber all right like biber. bieber so justin bieber i wonder what happened we'll to just justin call him biber biber <laughs> i wonder what would happen with justin biber if he went down there to san antonio texas to a basketball game and he sang i wonder what they would do with him you know what <laughs> they, the hell do you think they do with they him? would actually well they would probably start throwing things at him for other reasons for other reasons he's annoying <laughs> <laughs> he's very annoying but you he know has, he's a Bieber. Well, he has Bieber, a lot of followers, Bieber. but uh, he has a lot of haters as well. I don't hate him. No, I don't hate him either. Well, I don't know him to hate him. But, but if you're racing through your neighborhood, you got little kids walking around. 
you know, you just be respectful of other people around Why, you. Why, Bieber races through neighborhoods oh, and his, runs through kids his over? neighborhood, oh yeah, and his Ferrari and whatnot that he drives, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, he turned his neighborhood into a, a racetrack. Well, that's a shitty Bieber. <laughs> Biber. Biber. Biber, whatever. That's a shitty guy <laughs> who mm-hmm. sings. <laughs> How's that? We'll take care of that real quick. Yeah. Well, he got backlash because uh, he was at a basketball game uh, last week. Right. And this girl just happened to be sitting next to, next to him. You know, oh, that's what I saw on the news. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see, and she's I, trying to other, make cover. Yes. I'm your other that brain. Was I it. You, you know what? He is a <laughs> shithead. Okay, that's what I saw. He's at a basketball yes. game looking all smug, and she's next to him looking like she's He's dying to spot. say hi and be hide back to. Right. Mm-hmm. And he, he, he ignored her. He didn't look at her. Real curt, short answers yes. to her, and he wasn't pleasant to her. No, not and at all. And she looked to be about... Uh, 14 maybe yeah. right she looked really pretty gal really, yeah i mean i was thinking looking. buddy and you know what he that had, shot he had his 500 pound bodyguard standing behind him yeah i <laughs> it's oh, she was a very cute little girl but here's the thing i mean when you do an action like that yeah it's what was she doing what was he doing sitting there anyway shouldn't he be in a bieber box or something i mean i, I don't know <laughs> No, they usually, you know, when they're at that level, they, they're going to be separate from the crowd. It's almost like he purposely put himself there to to be around people, to ignore them and show them, hey, I'm here, yeah. but, but I'm me and you're yeah. you. What a dork. Yeah. He's on a, he's on a timeline. I think he's going down. He oh, yeah? He's going down. Yeah, Why, what happened? So. It's, no, he's just, I think he's, he's ruining his career. I don't know anything about him other than he sings and he thinks he's something else. He looks yeah. like Ellen DeGeneres. Oh. Yeah. I like does. the way Ellen looks, but she's a woman. Right. But he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't <laughs> does he look like Ellen DeGeneres? He kind of had a Florence um, Henderson haircut he did. from like, uh, I saw him one time. But I he couldn't, was, pull, Florence that, pulled it off though. Well, Florence is a pretty lady. Oh, of course. But if you take a teenage boy and you put that hairdo on him, <laughs> it's not the same. I remember seeing so him that, thinking, you know wait, what? is this a flashback? God. Is that Mama Brady? That hair, so oh, it's some kid. That hairdo was not original. Does he sing he good? Stole that from Does he sing well? This kid? No. 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 I, I don't know. I've never heard him sing. No. I've seen him be bopping around on the stage and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's what he does. He be bops. He be bebop bops. He bebop But he, he, he I did see something where he was fighting with somebody, or about to, and his bodyguards came, and they stopped, and he was trying to go at the paparazzi like, you're lucky my bodyguards are here. First of all, the bodyguards weren't there. He would have had his ass of handed course. to him. And he knows that. But he's got all his bodyguards around to keep everybody away from everybody so he can look like a real tiger. Mm-hmm. We know the truth, buddy. Bieber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bieber, buddy. Oh. Anyway. Uh, on to better news. Better. That was fabulous. <laughs> I love that story. And to that little girl, she was very cute. Yeah. She can do better. No, this is a, this is a, a good story. Short, to the point. But there was a uh, five-and-a-half-month-year-old baby who was choking, uh, and uh his uh, two little sisters were, you know, watching and babysitting him. Right. So he was choking, and uh, this neighbor overheard commotion. They called nine one one. The baby they couldn't clear its throat. They tried CPR, and he came over and he grabbed, went to the kitchen uh, drawer, and pulled out a turkey baster. Nice. And uh, smart guy cleared that baby's throat. Just sucked it right out. So next time when someone's choking, you grab that turkey baster. Yeah, well, carry I don't it with know if you. Gonna work you go out someone. to a restaurant, you carry that turkey baster with you. <laughs> you know, I have one right. Oh, it's over, it's in the other room, but I carry them everywhere. But I'm serious. Take it with you. I, it is. It's in the. But other he room. saved. He saved this guy. Figure uh, we're safe baby. here because you guys aren't eating or anything. But if you were like eating, if there was a nibble here and there, I would have my turkey baster right here yeah. next to me. Uh, let's take a quick break, and then we come back. We'll do uh, a fun little. Uh, Wait a minute. What, what came up? What came up and out? What the kid eat? I don't know. I'm curious say. about that. See, stories Hot end dogs. short. <laughs> you know, the whole thing is, what the hell was it in the kid's Here's throat? Here's the thing. People yeah. want to know, okay, the kid was choking. I want to know Two, what the hell die, choked the kid. Well, yeah, but what what caused it? I don't know. The, the, everybody always wants to. So the guy goes into a 7-Eleven. He shoots everyone dead. <laughs> well, was it a gun? Yes, it was a gun. Was he mad? Yes, he was mad. Nobody asks <laughs> why he did it. No, no, we don't care. Of course they care. What the hell was right. in the kid's throat? I want to... Let me find out. Let me uh, let me it call was that a press. <laughs> it was a goddamn meatball. We're a hot dog. Don't get. We'll be nasty. right back, and then when we come back. We're going to talk about. I have something fun to throw at you. We're going to have a fun little game. Right <laughs> oh, after a game. <laughs> right after this. All right. What were you thinking with Aaron and Scott? The show that gets to the core of all the bull. <laughs> Thursday night, six p.m. Pacific, nine p.m. Eastern. <laughs> 
You know, we here at the studio are really athletic guys, and as a result, we're always pulling this, overstretching that. You know how it goes. You get hurt from time to time, or you just sleep wrong and wake up with some sort of ache or pain. But no matter what the situation is, we choose who we consider to be one of the best chiropractors in L.A., Dr. Chet Millette. Headaches, backaches, neck aches. He's the guy we trust with our pain. Dr. Millette is located at Body Structure in Hollywood, California on Cole Street across from Gold's Gym. Seriously, we know this guy. He's got the experience and expertise, and he cares. That's Dr. Chet Millette. Give him a call at 323-469-8062 or look him up on the web at bodystructurela.com. Or you can find him on Yelp. Dr. Chet Millett. He's the guy we trust with our pain. From the darkness below, an intense and thrilling game by the creators of AppCode Source, bringing the ultimate Gangnam game directly to your devices. Gangnam Speedrunner. Okay. Now available on your app store. Get ready to run. This app is rated G for Gangnam. Visit GangnamSpeedrunner.com. Okay. What were you thinking? With, With Aaron and Scott. Real talk behind closed doors. It's not just about stupidity, but everything else that comes with it. High octane, energy driven, in your face. Get ready. It's Aaron and Scott. And welcome back to What Were You Thinking? Yeah, you know what? We need people to call in. We know now that we've got enough listeners right. and the numbers on there. Absolutely. And certainly there has to be a bicyclist out there that would love to run my ass down <laughs> with his bicycle. It's not going to happen. Folks, what's pissing you off? Yeah, or maybe you agree Jamal, with what's us. the number? Oh, the number is 323-284-7826. Yeah. Right, there you go. I don't know. We're nice people. We love to chat. <laughs> oh you're such a yeah i could hear that in your voice yeah okay so uh, what's the latest what is the latest okay so i found this and i thought this is good this is why i mean you have this job because these are the 10 phrases that you want to avoid saying at work oh yeah mm. that could be 10 good. phrases is one of them ain't nobody got time for that. that's <laughs> who's that one. girl <laughs> who's my girl who's my girl she got bronchitis <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that oh my god <laughs> when your boss says hey can you do aaron i want you I ain't gonna ain't nobody got time for that i'm ready to take my break ain't nobody got time for exactly that. <laughs> You want um, me to do what? I wonder if people Ain't know. I wonder if people know what that. That's great. We're gonna roll that. And so, I expect a promotion next week. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for yeah, that. exactly. Oh God. Okay. Uh, so what's uh, what's I'll, going on? Here? All right. So number one, this is the one phrase that you, they're saying professionals, right? That you don't want to say at work because it could cost you your job. And this, the first one is. Hold on. Yeah. Can you figure out maybe what one of these things might be? The top 10, <laughs> ten things you don't want to say at work in front of your boss right. or anyone. My balls itch. <laughs> Is that on the list? Just curious. You're, you're sitting there you're in a, a know it all. With with your boss and your boss is discussing your promotion and just out of the blue you say, My balls. Okay, itch. I haven't really even looked at this list, but I'm thinking if somebody asked you to do something and you're like, Why? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think that would be one on there, but I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here. I even you looked. mean you printed it out, you didn't look at it? Not no, a little was, tiny peek? Not uh, Maybe a peek. Maybe at the first one. What's the first one? So then? the first one is, with all due respect, you don't want to say that at work. With all due respect? With all due respect. If, your, mean, bo if your boss is talking to you, right, and they're reprimanding you or correcting you, you don't want to say, you know, with all due respect, because you're belittling them. Well, it's what's to follow that's the fucking <laughs> shitty part. But they're basically saying this is a passive-aggressive insult. With all due respect, all, yes. sir, <laughs> you're an ass. Boss. Yeah, and that's essentially what comes out. With all due respect, we really shouldn't have the gardeners blow the dirt over here, yeah. and it's just spreading the mess. I wonder why that never came up at a gardener's meeting. With yeah. all due respect, gardener, why do you blow the dirt over here when yeah. they just got to blow it back over here? That's right. We still... No. Okay. Number two. It's number 11, by the way. <laughs> Swearing. You don't want to say bitch or dick or 
you know swear words we get swear words right i mean while cursing you know could be acceptable in some workplaces yeah generally a lot in of work the workplace places. you know you just you don't want to cuss yeah. right uh hmm. number three you, i feel bad that i said a thing or two so right. far now i apologize <laughs> <laughs> number three hmm. that's a bad idea you don't want to say that to your boss but maybe to another worker well no because well they just yeah well, yeah, that's a bad idea. What if you and you and you and Joe are the same tier and you're working and Joe says, hey, man. Here's the thing. It could even be a coworker because you know what's going to happen? Let's say your coworker idea. talks to you and they say, yeah, and you say, that's a bad idea. Right. Little Sue is going to run over to boss guy and say, you know what? I just talked to Aaron and he said that was a bad idea. What if the boss says, what was, what, what was it you were saying <laughs> that made him say that? And she says, I wanted to shoot penguins on film and then put it out. And this is maybe a penguin petting zoo. And, and he says, you know what? Right. You're fired because that was a bad idea. Right. And Aaron is getting a promotion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that one doesn't count. You check that one off the list. <laughs> you fill that in with itchy balls. Again, all this right. is why I mean you have this job because I think we'd fill in all these, right? Yeah. Let's see some more. Uh, number four. Okay, I can't do that. That's one you don't want to do at yeah. work. Mm-mm. Nobody wants to hear. And here's the thing: if you if you can't do something, you don't want to say directly just that. Wait a minute. What if you were working at a petting zoo though, and and okay. um, someone says, oh, what a cute little uh, lamb. And <laughs> then someone takes the lamb and goes to throw it in this water and the lamb can't swim. And maybe someone says, you can't do that. <laughs> Is, isn't that appropriate in that condition? You know, that's fine. You might get fired. You're no longer going to. I know I sound completely like I'm out of my mind, but it is true. You're at a that's petting zoo true. and you go to throw that. That would animal. be a complete idiot. Yeah, you can't. You can't throw that. You can't, you can't do that. That would be appropriate. I don't right. think that it really applies to this, but yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. A fire truck driving up the street, and the guy pulls the hose out and squirts some old lady in a little Prius, <laughs> and that other fireman says, you can't do I that. Think I a, think it's appropriate I think it's say. all about, no, you want to rephrase it. Yeah. You would love to, but you don't have the time to, to hey, do whatever task it is. I'm just calling you. People are, here's the thing. We're, 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 people are lazy at the times where they don't want to explain themselves, yeah. so they're going to give the very short answer. And it's, it's called, you can't do that. And I it's can't called, do that. you can't do that. You, you can't do that. <laughs> I don't know. That's questionable, don't you think, Jamal? <laughs> Very it, questionable. questionable. The other one's checked off and filled in with my balls itch. And this <laughs> one here is, that's a little question mark there. Yeah. Now, this is actually more targeted towards the bosses. This is something that a boss would not want to How say. How would you know? You didn't read the list yet. Well, because I just, I'm looking oh, at it here. Oh, truth cheater. Comes out. You <laughs> okay. Are cheater. This is, this is one thing. If you want to be. Well, if you just want to basically run your own business by yourself, right? Right. Mm. Then all you have to say is everyone is replaceable. That's so you, that's something you don't want to say. Yeah, you, a boss does not want to say that no. to employees. No, no. Because it just means you're nothing. No. You're just a little worker bee. I can replace you. Yeah. Well, what if it's true? Which it is. Yeah. Well, if somebody's doing a shitty job and you say, you know what, you can be replaced. I don't think that's such a bad idea. Do you? If they're doing a bad job, yeah. They're doing a lousy job. You know what? Don't forget, you can be replaced. Yeah. Sounds like we're in Kuwait. Mm -hmm. We're a helicopter. (laughs) Jesus. What the hell is going on here? Okay. So the next one is... (laughs) We had a helicopter thing. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I'm I'm thinking... (laughs) Okay, now this one here. This is more target... I think this is more women that would say this than men. Although men might say this. This should bring in a phone call or two. I'm worried my boyfriend or husband is cheating on me. Why would you say a that phrase at work? Once you, you say that at home, here's the thing: people have so much stuff they want to get off their shoulders. If they, they will use the word. Trust me, they will use the maybe. word force. No, they. No, maybe what they're happens? They're crying is, for attention. See, it's always what comes before or after mm-hmm. these these statements that's interesting. Oh, so maybe the girl is doing a lousy job, and her boss comes up to her and says, "Becky." You're doing a real shitty job. (laughs) And then she says, I'm worried that my boyfriend is cheating on me. Yeah. That that probably, you know what? Check that off the list. We don't care. (laughs) We don't care. They don't care at work. If she's doing a lousy job, she's there to do work. I think what they're saying, don't bring your personal life into the workforce. Now that should be on there. That should be on that list. But I get it. You're saying things that shouldn't be said. Poor girl. Maybe she's looking for a little after hours action. (laughs) 
you know what? You have a very that, good point. Yeah. So there, there she go. is. She's a little horny, maybe. She's talking to <laughs> Her boss is sitting there. He's loosening his tie. At he's the end attractive. of the day, he's an attractive guy. Yeah. And she says, you know, and she's thinking, I want to nail. <laughs> I want to nail How him. do I play this How safe? Do? You know what? I think my boyfriend's cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, hop on up here, sister. And we'll just show you the time of your life. <laughs> That's right. Time to ride the pony show. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy now? Okay. Oh. <laughs> My God, it's awesome. Oh, as she screams in joy. Yes, check this out. Okay, we're going to keep that one. Yeah. I don't know why, well, just because I, I, like I got a rise out of it. <laughs> Here, here's another. This is, again, women. I, this is, <laughs> she is so annoying. This is, that's the line. That's the she, she is, is so, so annoying. annoying. Yeah, I, you got to say it like that. You have to say it like that. You can't, she is so annoying. Yeah. Because girls, they're very. They carry things out. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. Ex- you know, exaggerate. Well, not all of them. Just those weird girls from the San Fernando Valley. Just uh, that's where it all came from, you know. <laughs> no, but it was very Just the early. Girls in Beverly Hills. What was that? Late eighties. <laughs> that was the eighties thing, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, where they are the Valley Girl, and they yeah. came. That was early eighties when that came out. You just don't want to trash talk your clo- you know, your colleagues. And okay, your so coworkers. what's the line again? I already forgot. She is so annoying. That's just stupid. <laughs> that shouldn't even be on the list. That annoys me. I can't even go anywhere that's a, with that. That's pretty stupid. Like, I could go somewhere with the one before. You know, my boyfriend's cheating on me, and then they're nailing each other, and everything's fine. I really... But, well, okay, so like I said before, what comes before this or after this that makes this statement annoying, or you shouldn't say it, or even interesting? So... Uh, one girl walks in and she's really hot and she goes, my tits are too small and her tits are just perfect. <laughs> right. She walks out and then the jealous the girl jealous. with titties the size of bug bites says, <laughs> she is so annoying, right? That's, That's where that comes in. Yeah. But why is that annoying at work? That would be annoying to her because she's was, got no boobs and the other girl's stacked like, you know, mountains. That would be annoying to the bug bite titty girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would right. be annoying. Right. But, but, why not say it? What's gonna? That's I don't know. Yeah. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches be tripping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bitches we're, be tripping. We're gonna put a question yeah. mark next to that one. I feel like this is all going towards what women would say because I really don't see a guy saying that, right? Oh, what was the line again? What would she? Well, why is she tripping? Oh, no, she is so <laughs> so she is, unimportant. No, she is so like, annoying. She is so annoying. Would a guy say that? She not like say it like you did. Uh, Stacy from the Valley. How, how would she is so annoying? No guy would say it that way. <laughs> now a guy might say she is so annoying. She is so annoying. Yeah. No, he would say she's a bitch. <laughs> or she might be just annoying. I don't know. I don't know. No, if he's annoying. A, no, he's not going to say bitch because yeah, number one rule was you can't <laughs> cuss at work. So f- screw that. that. You're breaking rules. Guys as you go don't. Along. You know what? Guys don't follow the rules. Sorry. <laughs> I wish we did, but. She is so annoying. <laughs> She's a lousy, small titted bitch. <laughs> That's just lousy. You wouldn't say that at work. I wouldn't say that at work. Even if she had small tits and she was a bitch, yeah. I wouldn't say it. Now I would say it. Uh, yeah, I would totally I would say, say it. <laughs> I'd say, you know what? Go do something with those. <laughs> I, I got I know a fly swatter. <laughs> whack, whack. Why does he keep smacking my chest with that fly swatter? I know I'm a great sorry. plastic surgery. <laughs> Surgeon, yes. <laughs> Uh, oh. Okay, we'll keep that one. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Can you imagine? You know what? She's got red marks all over her chest. Scott. Quack, quack. <laughs> That's what you do. When she says that, you just come out with the fly swatter. <laughs> quack. Right on and the And you boobs. just, and you wag your titties. <laughs> right? You're not saying anything. No. <laughs> this isn't a phrase. This, no. is a, this is an act. So that would count because you're not saying anything. You just whack those titties. Right. Right. <laughs> What's next? I'm curious. From Boston. I'm banging. just really picturing that right now. Woo. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, okay. So the next line that uh, I think, I don't think it's fair. That's the line. I don't think it's fair. This is annoying. <laughs> this is really starting to irritate me now. Is that on the list? This is what? <laughs> this is annoying. 
This is what the girl says who has bug bite titties. It says, I don't think it's fair that she's got the big boobs. Well, in all fairness, there are some guys that say, I don't think it's fair. Like if you're told, you know, here's what we're going to do. I want yeah. you to dig a hole the size of a pool, uh, you know, a big, huge, big, huge hole. And here's here's a shovel. No, here's a spoon. Here's a spoon. <laughs> and, and you, Bill, over here, we're going to give you a shovel. And all I want is just one little tiny little nick in the dirt and then you can go to lunch and here's 50 bucks on me and you you can go to mcdonald's and pick me up something when you're there and then on you your say, own i don't think it's fair yeah and then you say i i don't i don't think that's fair yeah and you say you know what you um i don't know these are all just <laughs> some girls have small tits and he's I like what you would have to tr you would have to treat all these a case-by-case -case basis because i get what you're saying i would say the yeah. same thing no yeah. I, I would just say oh hell no well some things aren't fair at work Absolutely. And that's what makes people upset. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you just don't want to say these things. Right. Even if you're, you're being abused yeah. and overworked, you never want to say those words. That's right. I don't Underpaid. think this is fair. All that shit. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to say that because yeah. the boss is going to look at that as a weak link. Of course. And this is what we should teach kids in school. You never say these words, even if you're being abused and, and, and underpaid. Right. And, because you know what they're going to say? You're replaceable. You. <laughs> we you could have another real. one. Yeah. You know what? There's a hundred other kids here that, that'll do this for nothing. That, I wonder if they told that kid that down there in South uh, Texas, uh, San Antonio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't go sing, these people are going to boo you because they're a bunch of peckerheads. But if you don't go out and sing, there's a shitload of kids who are going to go out there and do this. What number are we on? That was eight. Jeez. Two more shots at my balls itch. And that's it. <laughs> All right, let's try it. All right, uh, number nine, you look hot. That's a guy thing. I think a guy would say that at work. Yeah, you, you don't want to say that at you work. Don't, you don't want to say that. You that look was hot. good in the 60s. In fact, I don't think that they even said hot in the 60s. What was sexual harassment in the 60s? What would they say? I don't think say? sexual I harassment in, existed in it the 60s. It didn't, no. but it's because of the 60s that they invented because it. Because it was love, <laughs> yeah. peace. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Trust roll, me. Drugs. There were guys grabbing girls' asses, pinching their asses, just all kinds yeah. of slipping their hand up a skirt, and women it just no. There, it's what happened in the fifties and sixties <laughs> that created these laws that said you can't do this anymore. Absolutely. But what I'm wondering is, mm -hmm. what would be a translation line from? Okay, what is the line? She's hot. You look hot. You look hot. Yeah. They didn't say that in the 60s. It was, it was something else they would have said, unless they went right to the just the grabbing ass. You know? <laughs> I, I bet you it wasn't even a line then. You just grab her ass. Well, they're <laughs> saying it's like you had a compliment, but you don't want to use those direct. You, you, if somebody has a nice outfit, you look very nice today, Susan. Why is that so wrong and uh, right? And I yet, think it's, isn't you, that a... You look hot. Mm -hmm. Because hot is does that come out. across? As, yeah, does that come across as flirtatious, as hot, sexual? Hot comes across as you know, you look hot. Jump on me right now, you look hot. Yeah, you I'm know. interested in you. You yeah. look hot. If I say you look very nice today, Susan, it doesn't necessarily translate to I'd like to nail you as soon as right. the lights go off. You Are you having I mean? trouble with your boyfriend or your husband? I can't reach the switch. <laughs> That's fine. I'll nail you anyway. Yeah, you look hot. Is that the line? You look hot. You look hot. And the other line was, "My boy, I think my boyfriend's cheating on me. Yes. You know, we could combine these things. That's true. The woman could say this, <laughs> you look hot. You know, I think my boyfriend's <laughs> cheating on me. My balls itch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> be mortified. You, in my office, now. Now. <laughs> now. First of all. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's fair. fair. Your balls itch, you said. You don't have balls. <laughs> You're replaceable. You're replaceable. <laughs> You're out of here. Fine. We'll go to here. <laughs> I love how we could really just we could, see, combine them yeah, all. Combine them all. Have a field day with them. Yeah. I'm uh, still wondering what, what, what would be a line from the 60s that they used to say that would now be considered. You know what I mean? Uh, like, like back in the day, mm -hmm. um, uh, what is it? Um, I think think Brady Bunch. What would Brady Bunch. Oh my God! Can you imagine, Marsha? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yeah, I don't even know what they would say. What would they say? You look totally fly. Uh, I, no, I looked fly? up some '60s pickup lines, and some of them were, "It's a bomb drill. Can I hide under your skirt?" <laughs> Ooh, there you go. That's kind of cool. That, that's worse than you look hot. Give me another one. That's uh, a bomb drill. Can I hide under your skirt? <laughs> turn on, oh. tune in, drop your pants. Turn on, tune in. Like a radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay, but the, are these things people commonly said? Probably not. 
<laughs> what was that first one? <laughs> under your skirt? It's a bomb drill. Can I hide under your skirt? And then you get and under you your go. and you go, my God, she definitely. <laughs> Rehire her. She went lying. <laughs> this bitch has balls. <laughs> they probably itch too. <sighs> okay, give me another one. Okay, so another one is uh, those boots were made for walking that ass over to my orgy room. Okay, <laughs> those boots were made for walking. Well, that, that was a big '60s song. Life. You remember that song? Yes. Do you really? I've heard of it. Uh-huh. I don't. I do. I don't have. Who's saying it? I don't have that on my A track. Who's saying it? <laughs> on your A track. <laughs> Nancy Sinatra was a number one hit. Wow. Mm. Her only one. Nope. She actually did another one with her dad, Frank Sinatra, mm. and it was called Something Stupid, which I'm not saying anything because you didn't know the first song, but the second was Something Stupid. Yeah. Name of the song. Well, you were in the '60s. I wasn't. <laughs> I love the '60s. That's what we're talking about. Give me another one. Okay, we got another one. Uh, this one says. Let me find one. Even the Beatles think that we should come together right now. You know, I'm not buying this no, shit I'm at not, all. I'm not this buying is something that somebody came up with <laughs> last week and said this is what was going on. Okay, you remember the okay with uh, jive, remember okay like the 70s. Yeah, blacks would say jive. It's right. jive, jive, turkey, yeah. jive turkey. It jive that. That's it right. doesn't happen now. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, there's got to be a slogan now that kind of means the same thing, but for sexual okay for mm-hmm. for for you look hot. Oh, no, there's a translation really, I, okay, back to the 60s. Far out. You look far out. Far out is 70s. Far out. Was that 70s? Yeah. Far out, mm. 70s. Groovy. Groovy, 70s. Damn it. Yeah. Um. See, all these things, they're all thing. That There has to be a sexual harassment line that's equal to groovy, jive. You look in piff? You're an ass. <laughs> First of all, piff is something. Scott, what is it? You're looking piffy tonight. <laughs> Somebody ever said, I would smack you in the face if you said that to me. I'd be mortified. And I was like, I don't want to go to court, so I'm going to just smack him. Yeah. Ooh, you're looking piff. Piff. It means upset, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm having a piff. <laughs> him is, hitting in his piff moments. I'm going to get you a teacher that says, I'm feeling really piffed right now. <laughs> and somebody else is going to come up to me and say, Whatever. <laughs> All right. Any other ones on there? Uh, yeah, we have one more. Okay. This is. Oh, what, this I'm is not what, talking to him again. though. I'm, I'm looking for a real <laughs> oh, 60s sexual remark. A real 60s sexual. Okay, can remark? you put under Google real, not that <laughs> fake shit that just tried passing by us? All right. Let's. While you're looking, you tell oh, me number ten. Hold on. Let's have the David Letterman drum roll. <laughs> number ten. Hit balls in your mouth. <laughs> All right. And That's number nice. ten. This makes no sense. Oh yeah, probably I guess a phrase you don't, you don't want to say at work when your boss is talking. This makes no because you know I think you missed a key point with these. I think these are things you don't want to say to your boss yeah. more than just saying them randomly at work. I mean, most of these are things that you're gonna. What if it doesn't make sense? <laughs> there we go again. Let's say it's something that doesn't make sense. Let's say you're working at Midas, you know the tire deal, mm-hmm. and then uh, somebody comes in and they have a flat tire. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, all right, Aaron. Yes. And it's the front left front tire, and the guy comes up and he jacks up the right rear tire and starts to change <laughs> it, and then the owner of the car says, uh, "Sir, uh, what are you doing?" And he says. I'm, I'm changing your flat tire. And, and then the other worker comes up and says, this doesn't make sense. Now, here's the thing. They're saying, basically, if somebody says something to you or a task right. and it doesn't make sense, they're saying, don't say that. So nine, out of ten, nine times out of ten, you should just complete it. Pretend like you know what they're talking about. So fix that. Here you go, buddy. Fix that fine tire. Boss, I got it all. <laughs> I got it all. You know what I would do? For you. Just to irritate your thought process on that i would say let him change the tire that rear tire that has no hole in it yeah and when he's done i'm going to say by the way i'd like the nail just so i can see yeah (laughs) you know the nail that flattened the tire of the tire that's not flat that you're fixing right and then just bring it to the boss and say this is what i mean he'll go why are you holding that i go because there's no nail to hold (laughs) but if you i mean if you say that it kind of i mean i can kind of see it would would basically show that maybe you don't know how to do your uh your job (laughs) I don't know what it would say. I'm just irritated. Put a check by that one. Jamal, I think we're on. Uh, it's a check, right? It is right? a check. No, that's irritating. Yeah. Irritating at all. <laughs> so that was the 10 phrases of what not to say. But then at again, work. But we've proven that we can use these phrases. You don't remember Nancy Sinatra's song, These Boots Are Made For Walking, do you? He doesn't. 
It's Aaron and Scott. What were you thinking? Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. What if you heard something but did nothing? What if the music you loved was gone forever? Check this out. A truly intense and tightly wound app, optimized with stunning retina graphics and crystal clear electronic audio. DJ Dubstep Kit, built specifically for dubstep enthusiasts and DJs everywhere. Five stars rave DJs around the world. Create your own dubstep music for commercial use today. Visit dubstepkit.com. In a world where developers compete to promote their apps, in a time where advertising is key to your success and profit on any app store, create stunning app demo videos with the voice heard around the world. Make your app stand out among the rest. For commercial use on websites, trailers, YouTube, and more, some restrictions may apply. Visit appcodesource.com and order your custom voiceover today. Yeah, we're back. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> so Aaron doesn't remember Nancy Sinatra's song, Boots. These boots I are think made for... I there's a lot of people. Well, I, know, I know the song. I mean, uh, what was her name that sang it? Um, I don't know. At Nancy Sinatra? No. There was somebody else that... Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's the one I'm... who did it. She's the one who did it. Yeah, it won't. Jessica okay. Simpson sang that song. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed that one. Hello. I'm so sorry I missed that one. <laughs> Jessica Simpson shouldn't touch that song. Oh my God. Okay, so oh. speaking of things that nobody should touch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to even go on with that because it's number 11 on the list and we didn't get that far. But we have somebody who's going to be on we with have us somebody next week. Coming on. Yeah. Angeline. 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 The Billboard Queen. Who's been on 50 billboards at one time. Yes. I believe it's 50. I believe it's 50. That's a lot of billboards. Oh, and how many people can say that? That they've been on 50 at the same time? Yeah. Um, I, maybe a company could say that. Maybe like the a company. I'm like, excited. Because yeah. I don't, I mean, again, she hasn't been on a talk show before. She's, yeah. got, she's a mystery. Yeah. And we're going to unveil and find out a little bit more about her a little bit more about her but i can tell you this much yeah she's very sweet she is she is i met her a lot of people i know her she's a doll um a barbie yeah. doll yeah yeah kind of she kind of looks like a barbie doll yeah way, i guess you could say her but we mean, around in her pink corvette yep yep yeah. And we're going to have some uh, information about her. That's right. Because she has quite a fan club. She does. And not just a fan club in L.A. It's worldwide. Absolutely. So that's. So we'll have, uh, she's going to be selling T-shirts and uh, yep. I, I think other things, too, that she's done or made. We or... don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we do know that she's got uh, stuff. Yes. Bag of tricks in her bag. But um, it will be a big surprise. Well, I think we'll be surprised. So I'm. Then we need to get Florence Henderson because tonight we, we talked about her hair. We do. And Florence Henderson, she rocks. She does. I got to tell you, I met Shirley Jones about three or four weeks ago. You remember her? I do. All right. From the Partridge family. Oh, Boots over here. Is, yeah. He's got something together. <laughs> oh, I know my women. <laughs> he knows his mom. America, America's mom. Yes. Florence Henderson. <laughs> yes. And Shirley uh, Jones. Shirley Jones from the Partridge family yeah. actually is absolutely beautiful. Wouldn't that person. be a great show? Shirley Jones, Florence Henderson oh, in the same room, God. in the studio. Jesus. You know, we weren't, we weren't even doing this show at this time I, when I had met her. I would have brought something up, seriously. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm do you know who she is, Jamal? I have no clue who she is. Do you remember is. the Partridge family? I do. Vaguely. She was the mom. Okay. She was the mom, and okay. she's just like... Yeah, she's she was a Carol really, Brady. Really mm -hmm. pretty lady. Yeah. Still, she's... Musical, she's talented. Beyond. So next week, Angeline, I'm excited. Yeah. Don't miss this show. It's yeah, be it should be really, really cool. Should By be, the way, yeah. uh, our bikini chef. Yes. And she's coming back with her sidekick, With her right? sidekick, Steve, yeah. Yeah. Be coming on, yeah. That would be awesome. I'll be back wearing my underwear again. That's always charming. But I said, well, I promised. No, it's I, cool. I promised her that I would do it. No. Only man. her. Maybe you should Nobody wear else. a, a G-string for this. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys, we'll Bye see you people. next week. <laughs>